Hello guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the white background into a digital backdrop with just a few steps. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and before we dive in today's video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find this digital backdrop and this couple in red if you want to practice with me. So first thing first what we're going to do is that we need to separate the subject or the couple from the background. So in order to do that we need to duplicate the background just drag and drop this to the plus and click here that says object selection tool and make sure that it is in the cloud or the detailed results. So just make a selection around the couple just like this and wait until it's done because this is done by Photoshop depends on the internet connection and wait until it's done and click here that says select and mask. Check if you want to refine the edge uh, of the hair but I think that they're looking okay. And I'm just going to click here that says output to selection and click here that says new layer with new layer mask. Click OK. Wait until it's done. And here we have uh, the background that is removed from the subject. And I'm going to zoom in and paint in the here because as you can see it was removed from the Photoshop. Sorry. So we need to make a white brush and just paint it over there where we want to bring back the information around the hair just like this because as I said the Photoshop has done it manually and uh, we need to bring that back so we have to paint it manually in order that to bring that information back so here we have the shoes and I think that the information is gone here but as you can see as far as that is gone uh, we still have some work to do so we have to remove that shadow under the shoes just like this you can do this with a uh, with a pen for example if you want an accurate selection you can click here on the pen tool and just uh, create a selection around the shoes just like this but with a white brush or a black brush depends what you're doing uh, it will be faster but if you want an accurate selection around the shoes or around the subject you can do this process just like this because as you can see we have some highlights on the foot of the male model sorry the female and click ok and here we have the selection and uh, to paint the information and in, just paint around the selection but since we created a selection uh, outside the shoes you have to invert it so click ctrl shift and i and just uh, with a black brush paint that shadows out just like this and I think that we are good to go only that we need to paint in the hair on this part just like this now here we have that white strip which is completely gone we need to bring it back just like this and I think that we are okay so Let's just check the other shoes and I think that we need to make a selection again on the other shoe because as I said in the beginning we need to create a professional selection around the shoes. So in order to do that as what I am doing you can uh, create a selection with a pen tool make selection feather radius 0.2 and just paint with a white brush inside that selection just like this and here's before and after which is looking really good and uh, once that we are done we need to drag and drop the couple into the digital backdrop that we have here so here we have the move tool make sure that you hold shift keyboard and just drag and drop this into the digital backdrop click ctrl and t to free transform Just drag and drop the couple into the digital backdrop. Click Ctrl and T for free transform and transform them in the digital backdrop and make them look realistic. Let's just make them larger. 
and I think that this one is okay. So I'm going to put them in the middle of the window. And here we have the white line which is from the couple and I think that I'm, I need to remove them. So I'm just going to create a black solid color here and as you can see we have that line here. So I'm going to paint it out with a black brush. I'm just going to paint here on the layer mask just like this. And maybe it's on the other side. Yes, it is. And we are removing it completely. So just delete that black solid color. And here we have a before and after, which is looking okay. And as you can see, uh, the subject is here, but we need some shadows. So in order to create some shadows, I'm going to duplicate this one. And uh, delete the layer mask completely. And here we have our layer of the model or the couple and uh, i'm gonna cl click here on the control and click here on the layer just like this and uh, click here that says select subject click modify click contract and the contract by five pixels you can zoom in and here we have uh, the pixels that are contracted inside so we need to click control shift and i to invert the selection out and click here on the generative fill and click generate and wait until the uh, generative AI does his job. Usually if the backdrop or the background is white or yellow, depends, it will create another uh, select subjection around it like the white solid. You will see it right now. And here we have uh, three, uh, three variations. And I think that the first one is looking okay so click control and click here right click and click merge layers so here we have the main uh, layer which is expanded and i'm gonna uh, duplicate this because i want to leave a before and after so i will rename this before and i will turn off and this one i will rename it as shadows and put this under the subject so i'm gonna rename this subject or the couple so here we have a before and after and I'm going to duplicate this subject just like this and create another layer. Click here, right click and click merge layers. And I will rename this uh, couple uh, selection because we are going to need that later. And here we have the shadows. So in order to bring uh, back the shadows under the subject or the couple, we need to switch the blend mode from normal to multiply. So here is a before and here is an after. As you can see, zoom in. Here we have the shadows, the real shadows of this image. And I think that they're looking good. But as you can see, we have the yellow kind of red color into the shadows. So in order to remove that, I'm going to click here and click on the hue saturations. And I'm going to decrease uh, the saturation minus something like 40. And here we have a before and after, which is affecting the main background or the main digital backdrop so i'm gonna click here and create clipping mask so the hue saturation will affect only the shadows so here we have the shadows which are looking okay and i'm gonna click here and click curves and i'm gonna make the shadows darker just like this make sure that is a uh, clipping uh if you didn't do that you can click here and click create clipping mask and it will affect only the shadows as you can see and right now the shadows are affecting the entire image but i'm gonna create here a layer mask and uh, with a gradient tool i'm gonna click here on the black and white and just drag this oops sorry down there and here we have the shadows affecting only on the bottom let me just zoom in here we have a before and here's an after which is looking okay and now that we have done uh, with uh, shadows it's time to add some depth of field so in order to do that i'm gonna duplicate the background just drag and drop this to the plus click here on filter click blur gallery and click tilt shift so we need to drag and drop uh, the point into the bottom or into the shoes and for example increase the blur just like this and it will uh effect only the background and uh, it will start from the bottom and go up so i think that this uh this uh, point here is looking okay but the blur with the 64 is kind of too much so i'm gonna drop this into the 12 maybe 13 and click okay so wait until it's done and as you can see a before and after which is looking 
uh, better than it was before so here's a before and after everything that i've done so far and as you can see the couple uh picture is kind of into the warmer tones and the digital backdrop has uh, colder tones so i'm gonna click here and click color balance and here we have the mid tones highlights and shadows but right now i'm gonna work on the mid tones and i'm gonna increase the red just like this and uh, put some yellow into the portrait uh, into the image sorry and here we have uh, some kind of uh, harmony between the subject and the digital backdrop and i think they're looking okay and now that i'm done with the uh, color corrections i'm gonna click here and click here on curves and decrease this to make the entire image darker and i want to remove it only from the subject or the couple so click control and click here that says couple selection and just paint with the black brush and it will be removed so here we have a before and here's an after which is looking okay but i'm going to reduce it by 55 because uh it was kind of too much so i'm gonna click here again and click here the selective color so i'm gonna put some adjustments to make this uh, image look more realistic so i'm gonna click here on the reds and i'm gonna play with the red colors make this image look as i said more realistic now click again to the selective color click on the blacks and play around with the black color and i think that this one is kind of looking into colder tones and i think that this one is okay but we need to reduce it by 75 now click and check a before and after which is okay now i'm gonna add some like sun rays uh, coming from the window so i'm gonna click here on the background and create an empty layer and i'm gonna choose kind of uh, orange color something like this and click here on the gradient tool and click on the second click on the circle and just make a gradient gradient map just like this and as you can see it's looking horrible but we need to switch that blending mode from normal to screen and as you can see a before and after which is not affecting the subject so in order to do that we can just put this on top and as you can see a before and after uh, the gradient fill is affecting the uh, couple so in order to remove that we need to click control and click here on the couple selection and just paint it out with a black brush just like this so here's before and here's an after and i think that is looking okay but i'm going to reduce it just a little now click shift and click on the background copy and just make a group of this entire layer so click here on the new group from layers click ok duplicate the group and just right click merge the group into a single layer so here's before and here's an after which is looking really good and right now i'm gonna click here on the filter and click on the camera because i'm gonna add some more adjustments that i have from the presets that i have been using before and i think that i'm gonna go with this one click here on the grain and i will remove grain like entirely click ok wait until it's done and uh, reduce the opacity of the uh, camera filter that i did uh, put it into 25 and i think maybe increase it just a little now check a before and after before and after so here's before and here is after let me zoom in here's before and here's an after so the backdrop a couple with the color adjustments and the entirely before so here's before here's after here's before and here's an after so well, that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because as i said in the beginning you will find these digital backdrops that i have created recently you will find this couple image if you want to practice with me leave some comments down below let me know if i'm understandable or not and see you guys in the next one peace